It's Donald Trump. Crazy. Psychiatrists warn about Trump's mental state. This is an article by the New York Times. I am the editor of The Dangerous Case of Donald Trump. 27 psychiatrists and mental health experts assess a president. We represent a much larger number of concerned mental health professionals who have come forward to warn against the president's psychological instability and the dangers it poses. We now number in the thousands. We are currently witnessing more than is usual state of instability. In fact, a pattern of decompensation increasing loss of touch with reality, marked signs of volatility and unpredictable behavior, and an attraction to violence as a means of coping. These characteristics place our country and the world at extreme risk of danger. Ordinarily, we carry out a routine process for treating people who are dangerous, containment, removal from access to weapons, and an urgent evaluation. We have been unable to do so because of Mr. Trump's status as president. But the power of the presidency and the type of arsenal he has access to should raise greater alarm not less. We urge the public and the lawmakers of this country to push for an urgent evaluation of the president, for which we are in the process of developing a separate but independent expert panel capable of meeting and carrying out all medical standards of care. But to this date, this article was written on November 30th, but to this date, it has been over a year since he was elected. It's been almost a year since he was in office. There has been no war, and the only people who are calling for violence is Antifa, the organization. Now, of course, there are other groups on that side of the aisle calling for violence and riots and protests and the removal of a sitting president. In fact, instead of being concerned with the mental status of the president, we should really be looking at the teachers of our institutions. Because the leaders of Antifa, some of them, happen to be middle school teachers. And they are calling for violence to overthrow the government. Interesting, right? But wait, maybe there's more to this. Donald J. Trump, a Christian? From, From the, the earliest, earliest days of our nation, nation Americans have known Christmas, Christmas is a time for prayer and worship, for gratitude, gratitude and goodwill, for peace and, and renewal. Melania and I are full of joy at the start of this very blessed season. We're, We're thrilled to think of the people across the nation and all, and all across the continent whose spirits are lifted by the miracle of Christmas. For Christians, this is a holy season, the celebration of the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Did you hear that? Of our Lord. That was inclusive language, meaning that he also believes on the Lord Jesus Christ. So what then would society label a Christian president in these days? Paul Washer Pastor Paul Washer warns, if you're a Christian, get ready to be called things that you're not. If anyone runs for office claiming to be a Christian, they will be labeled as a lunatic. Have a listen. You will be isolated from society as has already happened. Anyone who tries to run for office who actually believes the Bible will be considered a lunatic until finally we are silenced. Now, is it at all a coincidence at the timing of President Trump, and of course the Christian Mike Pence, Vice President, is it at all a coincidence that all of this silencing, this censorship is going on from Google, Facebook, and the other opposers of the Christian worldview? What say you? That's all I got for you. God bless and carry on. Donate and or subscribe to the Christian Journal today. Your support keeps this channel alive.